guys, as you can see, welcome back. We've been traveling in Reckless and we've just made a brew and we've pulled up to a fantastic spot. We were going to stay here tonight, but as in true Yorkshire's finest pear style, the heavens have opened. We have no internet here. You can stay over here, it's summer water. It's £10 a night uh, and you pay it up at the, the farmhouse. But I'll show you what it's like outside. So unfortunately guys It must be bad she's not even getting out to start a vlog I'm not <laughs> <laughs> uh, Even ducks have come out for a swim uh, We've come here for a specific reason uh, One, because it looked beautiful And got good reviews And it had got really good reviews And two, we We're going nude bathing All right, you were going new bathing. Oh, he thinks. Oh yeah, by the way, I have got some clothes on lot. Uh, we came here so we could do a bit of a wild swimming, take Buddy into water as well. But unfortunately, like I say, it's raining. There's no internet, so we can't even watch YouTube or Netflix. So it looks like... We're moving on. We're moving on. After this brew. But hopefully... If the weather changes in the next day or two, we probably will come back to this spot. So we're going to have this brew and we'll catch you when we get to wherever we're going because his plans have just changed. finally found some sunshine you can see it stopped raining Neil's locking Reckless up and we're off for a walk round Kettlewell it is a bit late so we're hoping to catch a pub open and we can grab a, a, a couple of pints outside uh, we found this on search for sites it's a little campsite it's £10 a night there is Nelson Point waste bins and water point that's it and the lovely owner tracy came round and she collects your money or you can ring her and tell her you've arrived it also uh, states we have read it that there's no time to leave you can leave whenever you want the next day i'm gonna say we'll stay all week then <laughs> what for 10 pound <laughs> so come with us and we'll take you for a walk round kettlewell and what's left open of it because it is what eight o'clock eight o'clock at night this is where we're staying and as you come out of the, the site there's also another parking area which we were going to park in i'll just show you for a quick walk around this it is £3 for day and £5 overnight. It's got an honesty box. We were going to park here, but that's the only view you get. And then there's another car park opposite, and that's the. Is it National Trust? Oh, yup. Yorkshire Dales Kettlewell National Park car park and there's no overnight staying there 
Oh, I'm not. Do you know the camper van's there? How nice is this? So these are public toilets and I do believe they are open, are they open 24 hours? I think they're open 24 hours. Kettlewell camping 400 yards. That must be up there somewhere. Oh, look at this. Come round corner, you feet two pubs. So you've got the racehorse. Racehorses Hotel and the Bluebell Inn opposite. And I think you have to go that way for that other pub, darling. Yeah, exactly. There's a working telephone box here. That's because you can't get a phone to you. An actually working one. And do you know how much it is? To pay the initial minimum fee of 60p. <laughs> Definitely not. Look at that. I'm not going down there. Because I'm bound to fall. Definitely. We came up this street with Van and turned round at top. And all these streets round here a very, very narrow. Oh, there's a, a bridge. Let's see if I can see if I can just have a quick look. Oh look! Oh, and it's got lights on it. Well, I'm hoping this is all lit up when we come back, so we can show you. Where's it gone now? Oh. I'm safe way uphill, he's nearly at pub. Wait for me! Why are all the best places up an hill? See, Neil's got Buddy to pull him uphill. Yeah. Quite welcome to swap if you want. <laughs> Kettlewell Village store. A little church. We turned round here because we got lost. And then up to King's Head. It's only a little place, but it's nice. So, this is the King's Head. That's my motto. Eat, drink and sleep. Eat, drink and sleep. I'll just take you up here. And lovely little church. Oh, it looks right nice with sun shining on it. Let's take you through. We've got a donation spot. Skipton Food Bank and looks like somebody's dropped two pound in it. Bit of information about it. I wonder if it when it opens. If there's a time. Please close the door, as the birds like to visit too. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? What is he doing? Oh, walk the path gently, seeking awareness as you walk. Well, I was just going to do all that and the dog decided he didn't want to do it. Come on then bud. So. Let's take a walk.
Have I done it? Yes. I walked all the way around, look. And now I'm going to cheat because I'm not going back. <laughs> Just put video in reverse. I took shortcut. <laughs> so what's that way? Uh, oh. Just let me have a look through. Can't do that campsite. Yeah. So this leads to another campsite. This has got electric on, but I don't know how much this one is. Toilets, showers. So it's after pub now. So you're ready for a pint, love? I'm always ready for a pint. <laughs> Now that's the first, isn't it? What? Me going at bar? It you're, is, yeah. You're I've gonna, spilled my own drink. You're going at bar. As long as you don't spill mine. £12.10. ten pence. How much? £12.10. ten pence. Go take yours back. <laughs> uh, they'd only got Tetley or that on draft or beer Moretti. And what's that? I don't know, an Italian one. Peretti? Peretti? Yeah. Oh well. It it's nice. It'll drink. It ought to be for 12 quid. So, how's your pint, honey? It tastes best pint I've ever had, that. What's I bought it? Yeah. It's not a bad pint, yours, actually. Cheers. Cheers. So, this is the King's Bed. They're doing a pub quiz and bingo at the minute. Near. Uh, we were going to take Buddy in because it is a dog friendly pub but when he gets in there he'll probably start barking and nobody will be able to hear questions or numbers being called so we decided not to. Anyway it's nice out here. Yeah it's lovely. Lovely and cold and freezing. Oh, nice view. Is it? Well, is it? <laughs> Only they can't see what you're looking at. <laughs> Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> mm, Twin Peaks. <sighs> Have you got a pocket to put this change in? Yeah. Yeah. And I've got a wallet to put rest on it in. It's in my phone. Yeah, I'm not your phone. Give me rest. <laughs> not likely. Stop him where it is. <laughs> That's your pocket money for a week. <laughs> I'll not get fish and chips with that. Oh, says so we're having fish and chips. Chips and scraps, bit looks. <laughs> scraps at that. So there you go, refreshments over. Back to work. On to the next one. On to, yeah, van. No, we've got to be a cheaper one. We'll have to see other two, see if they're cheap. Buddy, you tying me up. So come on then, let's hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Only they call you Neil, don't they? Sorry. It's like a pub crawl. They're that spaced out. There's only three to go to. Yeah. If I got the money, we could have a little holiday cottage up here. Could we? Yeah. Not at £12 a pint, but couldn't. Oh, God, here it goes again. Yeah, so it's not very big. Hey, we But it what, is... What the what? Call, it? Stocks. Stocks, yeah. Not likely. Go on. What then? I won't get, I can't, it's gated off. I won't get in them anyway. I'd have to get on my hands and knees. No way am I getting in them. I'd never get back up. 
Go get in then stop at Jan's and knees. <coughs> Next for his other channel, love, I keep telling you. I'll go back to a pub then. <laughs> keep me locked up. Be cheaper. Ooh. It's not very nice. Oh, we're back to the bottom. Oh, there's Rodolph here a lot. A bit early for Christmas. Is that a wishing well? Wish for sunshine and hot weather. No, it didn't work. What did you wish for? A motorbike. Oh, God, it's a bloody bin. So, we're going to head back to Reckless. No, we're going to head across the road to the toilet because I need a... A wee. A poo. A poo. So he's going to head to the toilet. So we've just come round the corner from toilets and we found this. Let's read what it says. I'll let that get into it. So it's a little worm, it says, please post a pic on our Facebook group, Random Acts of Crochet Kindness. I'm not lost, just alone. If I make you smile, please take me home. I'm a worry worm. Oh, that's rake of that. What's, a, what's a worry worm? Well, it's for people that worry a lot. Oh, that's me, definitely. Yeah, so you could take it home, actually. Oh, that's pinching it. It isn't. It says if you worry, you can take it home. What am I going to do with it? Well, you talk to it. Well, yeah, I might get more sense out of it <laughs> than you. But we're not going to take it home. We're going to leave it for somebody else to take home. Oh. Dark Age woman, workers digging near Kettlewell in 1997, made an exciting discovery. Lime kilns. That's St Mary's Church that we saw. Kettlewell stocks next to the village war memorial is set of restored stocks. These were featured of many medieval villages where drunks and vagrants were imprisoned by their wrists and ankles for a few days and subjected to abuse and rotten fruit from passers by. See, I told you you need to be in them. You're a drunk. Not yet, I'm not. So, what a lovely little village. Kettle wellies. You can take nice romantic walks along uh, the river. Oh. What? Nice romantic walk. Yeah, so it's right, nice. Come on, we'll go this way. <laughs> nice romantic walk by the river. Romantic. Yeah. Do you not think it is? I'm going to have to Google that word. What, romance? Yeah. You know, what beautiful countryside we live in. And we're only 100 miles away from his hometown in Barnsley. So, Do you know the camper van? If you're watching, we're just walking past. If you'd have had your door open, we'd have come and said hello. And had a beer. And had a beer with you. If you've got any. Well, to say we've had a lot of rain, this riverbed is a bit dry, at this side anyway.
this river is a very funny colour. Oh, there's loads of... Oh, I'm going to have to do my famous trick. So I'm going to do... I'm going to build me little tower. What the hell is she doing now? Yeah, have a look. What are you doing? What? All I can see is a big fat ass that'll be here. I turn around, it was like a full moon. Oh, you're a full moon if you want. You know what? It is cold. This one? It's not cold. We'll get in then. Oh, I can't take my coffee on. It's not cold. How cute is that? That storm thing you've done? That's a crab! That's a crab storm! How bad if, if Sunday went like that? I can't believe it's just wind. It won't wind! There's no green wind! Oh, it's right cute that. So what's your name? Colin. Colin. So we've just come back to Reckless and this is Colin and Lynn. Lynn. And he's just built this fire pit barbecue, which is really good. Thank you for showing that to us. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on then. Come on then. So we've just got back to Reckless and Buddy come flying round the corner and we wondered what he'd seen and it's a hedgehog! No? Good boy! No? no. Come on! Come here! Come on! It'll prickle you! No, buddy! No! Come on! Come on! Leave it now! Come on, leave it! Good boy! Come on, leave it! Buddy! Come this way! Poor little thing! Good morning guys, uh, we are just getting ready to leave Kettlewell now and we're going to head, don't know, wherever the road takes us uh, and hopefully you're going to come along with us and join us. So, Reckless is ready, are you ready? Let's hit the road. Mm -hmm. 